in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate ChatGPT or how to use ChatGPT directly inside of Google Documents and how you can interact with Chatbot without the need to go back and log in into your ChatGPT account, wasting your time copying and pasting all of the content that you've generated into your documents or into your workspace. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT directly inside of Google Documents. And uh, there are two ways to do this. I'm going to be showing you how to do that right in this video. Keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is JR at JRDigital.com in this YouTube channel. I talk about latest technology, product reviews, affiliate marketing, make money online. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so you guys will get notified every time I upload content like this. Without further ado, let's type right into our video. So I have installed ChatGPT inside right here. So as you can see, uh, there is a brand new menu right here, which is ChatGPT. And you can start a chat right here by clicking on that. It will let me enter or put in any kind of prompt that I wanted to enter without me having to go back and log into my ChatGPT account, copying and pasting all of the content. And one of the problems that I have within ChatGPT, guys, is that I lost all of my conversation right here, which is really frustrating because I haven't saved yet all of those conversation. Uh, right now, I'm not able to get back all of those conversation. So this is really powerful way to save all of your you know, conversation, all of your data, all of your content that you've generated inside of your chat GPT account without to having manually, you know, log in into your chat GPT account. All right. So I have, just like I said, I have a chat GPT installed right here. So the first method guys is by using an app script. Now you can go to extension right here and click on app script. This will open up a code editor that allows you to put a custom code right here. Now, don't worry guys, I'm going to be showing you how to use chat GPT to generate this code. I'm not a coder but I'm able to pull out this code right here, all right? Now you can go to ChatGPT and then just simply ask ChatGPT to generate a code that allows you to connect um, ChatGPT directly inside of Google Documents using uh, Google App Script. All right? You can say something like, write me a code that allows me to integrate ChatGPT in Google Documents using Google App Script. So this is just a really simple, you know, prompt that you can use to you know, ask ChatGPT to write you a code that allows you to integrate um, ChatGPT inside of Google Documents. And this is exa exactly what I did right here, right? So all you have to do is to click on send and it will wait for a couple of seconds for us to be able to copy and paste all of the code that ChatGPT provides us right now. All right, guys, so as you can see, guys, ChatGPT provides us a step by step instruction right here on how to install this code right here. The first step is to open up a Google Docs and create a new document. Step number two is click on tools in the menu bar and then click on script editor and then just copy and paste all of this code right here. And then step number four is uh, place uh, with your open AI API key. Step number five is save the script and then we can now run the script, right? So all you have to do guys is to copy this code right here and then you can go to your document you can click on tools or you can click on extension click on app script so th this will open up a window something like this this will allow you to add in a code right here all you have to do is to click on this plus icon click on that script and then just name that script with say chat gpt and then just click on that script right here and then all you have to do is to paste all of those script right here all right guys now don't forget the step number four is to replace uh this with your open ai api key so you have that right here so this is where you replace this with your open ai api key right here. so what you can do is you can go to this website right here platform.openai.com forward slash account forward slash api keys right here so this is where you generate your api key or secret key all you have to do is to click on that one it will let you generate your key copy that one and then just go back to your script right here and just simply paste your uh, api key right here so i'm just gonna paste that one right here so as you can see that api key is now uh, pasted so all you have to do now is to click on or save this uh, code right here and that's it guys all you have to do now is to run this code in your do google document and you should be able to 
see this chat GPT uh, uh, menu right here but in some cases there will be an error so all you have to do guys is to ask chat GPT what the error is and chat GPT will provide you a solution for the error and all you have to do is to copy and paste that code go back to your uh, code right here and paste that code right here so, all right guys so that's exactly what i did to generate this menu right here that i can now interact chat gpt directly inside of google document now the second option guys is by using an add-ons and this is the simplest way to integrate chat gpt directly inside of uh, google documents right you can go back to extension click on add-ons and can click on get add-ons right here it will open up this window right here which says google workspace marketplace and all you have to do now guys is to look for chat gpt right here you can also search the keyword chat gpt and then uh, look for uh, chat gpt for documents or shit so let's try chat gpt see this one right here this chat gpt open ai in sheets and documents so you can click on that one and then click on this uh, gpt for sheets and documents talarian right here all right so this is the uh, add-ons that i installed inside of my account so you can just click on install now there should be a button that says install so i already installed this add-on so you can just click on install and allow this extension or allow this add-on inside of your google account once you have that installed inside of your google account you should be able to uh, see this gpt for sheets and documents right here just click on uh, extension and then click on gpt for sheets and documents and all you have to do now is to set your api key again just click on that set api key and then just get your api key by clicking on this get your api key from open ai I will open up this uh, window or website right here from OpenAI and just again generate a API key right here. Just copy this one and just paste the OpenAI API key right here, right? And then just click on check to make sure that your API key is working. So your API key is valid. All you have to do now is to click on save API and you're good to go. Now you can now go back to extension. And then click on chat gpt or gpt for sheets then click on this launch sidebar it will you know open up a sidebar that allows you to interact chat gpt or you can write a custom prompt you can fix grammar so there are uh, multiple uh prompt template right here that you can use you can summarize the text you can translate the text or content or you can write a custom prompt let's say you write me 40 words about lab and then you can click on this insert prompt in a document just click on submit right here and it will uh, provide us uh, chat gpt will provide us a a content based on the prompt that we have uh, put in our custom prompt right here so this is that content right here as you can see guys you don't need to go back and log in inside of your chat gpt account wasting your time copying and pasting all of the content right you can go you can do that directly inside of google documents and what's really cool about this chat gpt or gpt for sheets and docs extension or add-ons is that you will be able to change the model right here so you can change this into the Bensi or Curie. You can also increase the temperature. You can increase the tokens. You're going to increase the max paragraph right here, right? So it's really cool. And they also provide you this uh, uh, video tutorials right here on how to use some examples and how you can get started right here. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And by the way, guys, I have a free affiliate marketing training below this video. If you wanted to learn more affiliate marketing, check out my free mini course in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you. Bye.